Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. This is Living in Columbus, Ohio. And today I've got another incredible episode for you guys as I'm gonna talk about the top 10 reasons you should not move to Columbus. Hey everyone, my name is Brad Winter, and if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you guys could please tap on the subscribe button below, click on the bell, and give us a like. That would be a huge help because that'll notify people that are wanting to learn more about Columbus, Ohio every single time we do a new video. And in these videos, we talk about everything that you need to know about the Columbus metro and surrounding areas. Now, I am also a licensed real estate agent in the state of Ohio, and as much as I love doing these videos for you guys, I would love nothing more to help you with your real estate needs. So if you're thinking about moving, relocating here, or if you even live here, make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text message, throw me an email, whatever you got to do, do it because I'm going to be the guy that has your back when it comes to all things real estate in the Columbus metro or surrounding areas. Reason number one is the unpredictable weather. Now you've heard me talk about this before, probably even sick of me talking about it to be honest, but I think it's an important thing that you should know. If you're not familiar with Ohio or Columbus, you have to know our weather is all over the map. Today it is August, what, 28th when I'm shooting this video and it's 90 degrees. Three days before it was 70, probably in two weeks, I'm gonna be wearing a hoodie. Those are things you have to know, you have to be prepared for. In the spring, you are gonna get snow, rain, sleet. It's gonna be 40 degrees in April, and then in the next week, it'll probably be 60 and sunny. So again, if you are not used to this, if you're used to one type of weather, if you're used to being out in Arizona or California, or maybe you're used to the extreme climate up in Maine, you need to know we've got all four seasons, and all four of those seasons are gonna give you something different inside of that. Again, reason number one you should not move here is the unpredictable weather, especially if you are not familiar with it. Reason number two you may not want to move here is our lack of professional sports teams. Now, yes, we have an NHL team, the Columbus Blue Jackets, and we have the MLS soccer team, the Columbus Crew. However, no NFL team in our city, no Major League Baseball, and no NBA. And for being a pretty big city, that is something that I hear a lot from people is Hey, I'm a huge sports fan. I'm used to being in, you know, maybe they're in Chicago and they have NBA, NFL, Major League Baseball. We do not have that here. And more than likely, we're never gonna have it because we probably don't have the population to support it, especially because NFL teams are two hours away with the Browns and the Bengals. Same thing with Major League Baseball and the Cleveland Cavs are in Cleveland. So, you know, Ohio is not this massive state like California, where we have enough population to support all these professional sports teams. So that is a big downer. People here really complain about it. They wish that we had more of, you know, that kind of professional sports atmosphere, but we don't, and we probably never will have it. So if that's something important to you, you should not move here. Reason number three that you should not move here is the tax and more specifically our property taxes. We have some of the highest property taxes in the country. Don't seem to be going anywhere but up. People that aren't used to that, maybe they're used to paying more for a house, but their taxes are a lot less. And then they get here and they're like, oh my goodness, like what are these taxes? Why are they so high on a $250,000, $300,000 house? People really can't believe it. So that's a huge adjustment for people. Another thing is we got to get crushed with, you know, we have federal income and we have city tax as well. Same thing with sales tax, state, local, city. It could, you know, it could even go down to the county as far as how you're getting hit with all these taxes. We are probably not a very tax friendly state when it comes to those things. So make sure when you're, you know, maybe you're looking at taking a job seeing what that pay increase is, well then also look at maybe what more you're gonna be paying in taxes. And that'll help you decide whether you gotta renegotiate or if the job is even worth maybe even taking because of the tax situation here. So that is a big reason that maybe you should not move here if you're not used to paying taxes because you are gonna get hit hard. Have you ever been driving and you know, you're going about your business and somebody just cuts you off or somebody's driving in the fast lane and they're driving real slow or somebody doesn't use their turn signal to turn? Guess what? We have some of the worst 
drivers in the country. So reason number four that you may not want to move here is we have awful drivers. And I know it sounds simple and stupid and maybe you're like, ah, who cares? But day in and day out, you are going to be on the highway, on roads with people that are just dumb. It's how as far as they drive, you know, they just they don't understand the rules. They don't understand the laws. They don't pay attention. It is unbelievable how many times I've heard people that have moved here say, I cannot believe how bad your drivers are. Again, something to consider if you're not used to that, if you're a timid driver, if you're somebody, maybe you have a little road rage, who knows, you might not want to move here. So reason number four, that it might not be a good idea for you to move here is you've got awful drivers. We don't have mountains, we don't have oceans, there's no desert here. So you're not really getting a ton of that kind of drastic scenery as you would in other parts of the country. This is farmland. They used to call Columbus Cowtown. That was the nickname back in, back in the day. So just by kind of talking about that, you kind of see what you're in for. I, mean, I grew up out in the country, I moved to the city, and I can tell you, I'm used to this. This is my life. If you wanna to drive to Cleveland, it's gonna be boring. If you're gonna to drive to Cincinnati, it's gonna be boring. It's gonna be flat for the most part. A lot of people that relocate here, especially from you know mountainous regions or out west where they have the ocean, they have the desert, there's mountains, they're not used to this. So it is a little bit of, I don't know if culture shock is the right word, but it is a little bit to the shock to the system of, what am I really looking at? You know what you're looking at? Farmland, that's about it. Coming in at number six as to why you may not want to move here, earlier this year, there was a major announcement that Intel is making a $20 billion investment to bringing a microchip fabrication factory to the Columbus region. And some people think this is amazing. It's going to do amazing things for our city. And there are some people that are in the camp that this is only going to drive up the population, drive up the expense for things, drive up taxes. It's going to impede into the rural areas of the central Ohio region and kind of take away from the charm of those farm towns. I have heard it from a lot of people, different ways, how they feel about it. If you are somebody that is not used to a city progressing, if you are from more of a rural setting and you're not gonna like a lot of people moving here, if you're not gonna like some of these smaller towns, especially out east kind of developing into larger municipalities, then this may not be the place for you because the wheels are on the track. You know, they've already started digging to do this and it could be up to a hundred billion dollar investment over the next 10 years with multiple factories, which are gonna create even more jobs and more demand for things. And more companies are gonna be moving here because of talent that Columbus has as far as our workforce, but also, you know, all the things that Intel brings with them. This is gonna definitely change our city over the next five, 10, 15 years. If you're on the fence about that, if you don't like that, then I suggest you rethink whether Columbus is gonna be a good area for you to move to or not. Coming in at number seven as to why you may wanna rethink moving here is we have a ton of crazy Ohio State Buckeye fans. If you know anything about college football, if you know anything about the history of football, the Ohio State University has been one of the premier historical programs over the last 50 years, maybe even long. On Saturdays, in the city, at the shoe, it is crazy. Buckeye fans are nuts. There are people out there that it ruins their day, their week, their month. Ohio State loses a game. People love the party. The short north is always rocking during game day. The traffic on game day is brutal. They've got roads shut down. Highways go to one lane. Police officers are directing traffic. You can only park in certain areas. It's a zoo. It's chaos. Me personally, I love it. I'm a huge Buckeye fan, but if that's something that maybe you're not used to, if you're from a quiet area, if you're from a city that doesn't really have college football, or maybe you don't even care about college football, you may not like that. And you know what's really annoying to a lot of people is during football season, you could be sitting in a restaurant and somebody goes, oh, H. And then you got to hear somebody go, I O. It happens in airports, it happens at concerts. You know, a musician will be on stage and say it. And if you're not from here, don't love Ohio State, you might think that is really annoying, and it's weird, and it's uncomfortable. And guess what? It is. That's just who we are. We're nuts. We're Buckeyes. So again, if you're not a huge football fan, if that's something that's gonna bother you on the weekends, take a second look at Columbus. Coming in at number eight on our list is the rise of home prices. Over the last 
18 to 24 months, the whole entire country has seen this real estate industry gone bananas. You're used to it. You've probably seen it in your local market. It happened here. It keeps happening here. And they give you some contents around this. Over the last year, home prices in the Columbus metro and surrounding areas have gone up 12.7%. And even though things have kind of cooled off right now with interest rates rising, inflation, kind of all this negative stuff that's going on in the media right now, home prices are staying steady. And in my opinion, and the data that shows us here, like what's going on in the Columbus metro and surrounding areas is those home prices are going to stay steady. And more than likely, they're going to keep going up. A lot of people are moving here. We have a lot of industry coming here. It's a very desirable city. It's still in a very affordable city. So mix in all of those things. I only see home prices going up. You are from an area that maybe not experiencing this type of growth, or you're not used to this. Maybe you're buying a house for the first time. Maybe you want to reconsider that. If you are from an area that you've experienced this, that you understand this, then this is going to be a, a no brainer for you guys. But I always want to kind of throw in some home pricing stuff to give you a better idea of what you can expect when you're coming here and you're thinking about buying a house is you're not really probably going to get a deal right now. It's probably not going to happen. Keep that in the back of your mind, prepare for it, be financially ready and you're just gonna have to deal with the fact that Columbus is growing and our home prices more than likely are gonna continue to go up. Coming in at reason number nine, you may wanna consider your move here. Apparently we've got some really bad allergies. I'm not an expert on this. I really don't have allergies, but from everything that I'm reading, we have a area that surrounds central Ohio that has a lot of pollen. And maybe that's because of you know how rural the area is around Columbus and you know, we're a relatively young city. So we still have all these trees everywhere and farmland and wildlife. So maybe that's a reason. I'm not sure, I'm not the expert, but I found it really interesting that allergies here in the Columbus metro and surrounding area, we actually rank like pretty high in, you know, when they're ranking cities as to, I guess, who's got the most allergies. It sounds kind of funny, but Columbus ranks up there pretty high. If you have some medical conditions. If you have allergies really bad, this is something that you should definitely know about, prepare for, and just you know keep it in the back of your mind when you're moving here that this could be something that may or may not bother you. Coming in last but not least as to the top 10 reasons why you should not move here is number 10, cloudy days. Guys, it's cloudy. Bottom line, half of our year is covered by cloud coverage. Can you believe that? Isn't that insane? I've lived here my entire life and I know that it's cloudy. I know that the winter months can get gloomy, spring can get kind of gross, and that's tough, right? That wears on some people. But just looking at some weather data kind of sites, half of our days here in Central Ohio has some sort of cloud coverage. So if you're used to areas like Colorado, Utah, Arizona, you've got a lot of sun, and maybe you think it's even too much sun, you should count your blessings because when you move here, you're gonna get cloudy day. It's gonna get gross out. It's gonna be dark out, especially during the winter months. It just seems like the late winter, you know, late January, February, even into March, there is not a lot of sun. And when you do get it, you're like, ah, it's finally here. The cloud coverage can be kind of brutal. So something that I do to kind of get out of that funk of all the clouds is midwinter and south, going to Florida, maybe go out to Arizona, maybe go back home to visit, you know, your friends and family out west, playing around that. Something that you need to think about is, are you somebody that has to have sun? Maybe it's for medical reasons, maybe it's just for your soul, right? I mean, who doesn't love sun? Definitely consider that when moving here because it's, you know, today it's a sunny day, it's beautiful out, but tomorrow, shoot, it could be cloudy, gross, and all those good things. So coming in at number 10, one of the reasons maybe you should not move here is cloudy days. So there you have it. Those are the top 10 reasons you should not move to Columbus, Ohio. Guys, I would love to hear your comments and thoughts about this. So make sure you drop them below in the comment section. I would love to hear what you have to say. If you're thinking about moving here, relocating, if you currently live here, you wanna learn more about these things or got some real estate needs, make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text, shoot me an email, whatever you gotta do, make sure you do it because I'm gonna have your back when it comes to everything real estate related in our wonderful city. Till next time, guys.